Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save any design you make on Fonto as a PNG. So how to get that transparent background. So if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you might know that Fonto is my go-to app for anything text related. I always, whether I'm using iMovie, whether I'm using Video Leap, whatever other app I'm using, if I'm going with text, I'm going to be using Fonto. And I always saved my image with like a white background and then just erased that background in a different app called Eraser. And then I would use it in, say, iMovie. But now I can actually just directly from Fonto save it as a PNG. Finally figured it out. This is a long intro. Let's get into it. So I'm going to click down here. Click on plain image. And as you can see, there's nothing that looks like a PNG. If you don't know what a PNG looks like, this is it. Um, but this is nothing like that. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to click. You can tap literally every, any background. I'm just going to go with the black one. Then just make it the size that you want, whether you want a custom size up here or you just you're fine with this. Then you're going to go here to color. And you're going to go to alpha and bring that all the way down. And now you can see this looks like a PNG background. So click apply. Click up here and select use. And now we have our transparent background. So now say I want to add some text over a video in iMovie. And I'm going to select say... Let's just type iMovie. And... Um, so I can go here to font and change that. Um, I have a whole tutorial on font, so I'll have that linked in the app top if you want to check that out. But um, right now I'm just going to quickly do this tutorial. Oh, by the way, this font is called Observant because people always ask me. Here are all of my fonts. You can take a screenshot if you're interested or just pause the video. Write it down if you're interested in any of these fonts. So yeah, I have this font now. I'm going to style it real quick, just add like a shadow or something. I can never do shadows on, on text because if you're erasing the background in an app like Eraser, um, then it doesn't really detect the shadow real nicely. It just makes it look weird. So I can never really use a shadow, but now I can. Uh, let's see. Okay, done. So just going to size this a bit smaller like so. Now... That's basically it. You just have to make your transparent background the way I showed you and then just make whatever design you want on your canvas. So whatever you want to do, just do that. And when you're saving your image, you're going to click up here or down here. Then down here, you have all your options for saving. I usually just click save image or save image as PNG. You want to select save image as PNG because I'm just going to quickly show you if you have save image with this transparent background. If I go to photos, you'll see here, now I just saved it with a white background. So now I'm going to go back into iMovie, or sorry, Fonto. <laughs> um, I'm going to select save image as PNG, click that. Okay, go back to photos. This is the one we previously saved. And here you can see the one with the transparent background. So it doesn't have that white block around it, which is really nice. So now if I go to say iMovie, where is iMovie on my phone? Here it is. And um, I'm just creating a project here. So I'm just going to click on add here real quick. I'm going to import this image as a picture in picture. And there you can see it does not have a background. I'm just going to delete this. Is this text? Yeah, it has text over it already. Um, here you can see, I'm just going to make it bigger so you can see. Okay. There it is, transparent background, which is really, really cool. And I'm really happy about this. Finally figured it out after years of trying and struggling and not getting it right. Finally, I got it. So no more needing the eraser app. Thank goodness. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you love Fonto as much as I do, this might be something you didn't know. And um, I hope this helped you. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you might have for me. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen and don't forget to click the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any other uploads. Go check out my sister's channel. Um, her name is Monique Studio. I'll have that linked in the description box below as well as the eye up top. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.